OMG, I can't even answer any one question. What should I do? If I copy my friend, that will make me really look suspicious. I think I just copied the whole note that I was bring from earlier. You have probably heard the term plagiarism before, but you might have questions about what it is or how it is relevant for you. This video will answer these questions so that you can avoid plagiarization in your work. So what is plagiarism exactly? Plagiarism is when a person presents someone else's work as their own without giving proper credit to the original source. Even if you only use parts of a work, or you do it by accident, any time you use someone else's work as your own without permission or without giving credit it is plagiarism. This includes copying work from online sources. This doesn't just include text, it is also ideas, images, code, graphics, music, videos, inventions, and even song lyrics. This work is someone else's intellectual property, and, just like with physical property, taking it without giving credit is theft. What counts as plagiarism? There are many different kinds of plagiarism, including these examples. Handing in an assignment that was created by someone else. Whether you reuse a friend's project from last semester, you pay for someone else to write your essay, or you submit a design project you found online, the project isn't your work so it is plagiarized. Next, using material from somewhere else without citing it is also plagiarism. Some people find information on the internet and just copy and paste paragraphs into their assignment to pretend that they wrote it. You can't use someone else's work without giving credit to that person by citing your source. You can also get in trouble when you paraphrase. Paraphrasing is when you change the wording of the original source but keep the general idea. You must cite paraphrasing as well, or it is plagiarism. Plagiarism also includes using too much cited material or ideas so that your work is not original, even if you cite properly. Next, submitting previous assignments or pieces of previous assignments again for a different assignment. Lastly, plagiarizing by accident. What are the consequences of plagiarism? There are many of consequences in plagiarism such as A. You may have to repeat the subject on another semester. B. The assignment might count for a smaller grade in the class. C. You may be given a grade of zero for the assignment. E. Or you could be suspended from the college. The consequences of plagiarizing can damage your reputation. Plagiarizing tells people that you are not trustworthy, and it makes you seem less capable. If you plagiarize if your career, you can cause serious damage to your professional life, and there may even be legal repercussions. So how can I avoid plagiarizing? The primary way to avoid plagiarism is by being honest when you work on projects, and don't try to present anything that you haven't created yourself as your own. If you do use something that was created by someone else, make sure to give them credit by citing the source. Conclusion 
avoiding plagiarism is important. When you properly acknowledge the contributions to knowledge made by other people, you are showing respect for their work, and you are giving credit where credit is due. That all from us for plagiarism. Thank you for watching.